Welcome back to another GCN Tech Clear. You know the score by now. You simply send in your questions. We pick them out and answer them as best as we can. So let's go straight in. Manon, hit us with the first question. First question is in from Adrian. Hi, GCN Tech. Is it dangerous to ride with latex inner tubes in carbon rim brake wheels? No. In my opinion, it's not. Although... What? Yeah, that's my opinion. <laughs> but the man manufacturers of carbon rims and latex inner tubes do advise against it because of the heat that can them build up on long descents, on heavy braking, for example, does potentially lead to the failure of the inner tube. In some cases, they've been known to simply explode inside the tire. So I would apply some caution and logically, it's best to follow the advice from all of the manufacturers. However, I have used them in the past. You on, rebel. Yeah, I've, I've had no problems whatsoever. But if you're going to ride on you know, long alpine descents, then yeah, it's best to avoid them. Stay safe, use normal inner tubes, or go for my old favourite, tubeless. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, next question, do you want to go? You go. Oh, thanks. Um, it's from Cheng Keat, who says, recently I parked my bike for a night, and then the next day the inner tubes are flat. This happens four times already. What might cause this? Thanks in advance. Okay, well my thinking is there's probably like a squirrel coming in and letting the air out of the tyre. No, no, joke aside. Um, well, you could just have a very slow puncture and just when you leave it overnight for 12 hours, it just goes flat. Um, Valve? Valve? It could, could yeah, be it could be a little bit of a leaky valve. You might just need to replace your inner tube and then see if it still happens. Go from Actually, there. going back for the first question, latex inner tubes will naturally leak air overnight. So it could be they've got latex inner tubes or yeah. maybe you just need to use a standard butyl one or the thermoplastic ones hold air quite well. Hmm. Yeah. Hope Next hope question. That works. Next question is from Renaissance WW says, when I switch my zip rim brake carbon wheels out to my alloy training wheels, do I need to change my super fancy brake pads out to ordinary brake pads as well? Yes, basically. You don't want to be using those brake pads on carbon carbon wheels or vice versa as it can damage. Yeah, like wear the them out, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. Especially if they're your own wheels and you spend a lot of money on those wheels, you want to look after them as best as you can. The, basically, the simple answer is they're all designed for what they says yeah. on the packet. Don't, yeah. don't break the rules. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, next question in is from Josh. Josh. Says, hey guys, question about seating tubeless tyres on a rim. Previously, when he's done on car tyres, they've sprayed starting fluid, or sort of mm. like lighter fluid it is, into the tyre and then ignite it. I mean, this sounds dangerous already. This sounds like a question for you, Alex. <laughs> 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 um, so the, the explosion of the light fluid uh, it, it like explodes inside the tire and forces it onto the rim. Simple. Um, it's super cool, um, but I've not heard this approach used with bike tires. No. Although... Do you need to? Um, you probably don't need to. You no. could, there's loads of cool products that you could use. as fancy pumps, as tubeless in canisters that inflate the tires nice and easy. Um, but it is a question that has actually gone through my mind in the past, because I'd love to be able to test it out. Well, there's a GCN tech I'm not video sure, coming soon. I'm not sure that'll go past health and safety department. You can try. Yeah, um, mm. but find one of those cool products. You don't have to set your tires on fire. Use a cool pump or inflate a canister. Life will be easy. Next question is in from Tony West. In the men's race, we often see them take a comfort break, but we never see it in women's races. Do they not take much water or do women just have much bigger bladders? Um, I don't know. You, you have to answer that. Well, yeah, you're not going to know, are you? <laughs> we do take comfort breaks in races, but obviously they're not going to show you on TV. We just kind of go to the back of the back of the bench when the race is easy and we pull over to the side of the road, jump the other side of the hedge or go somewhere where no one can see you. Um, but yes, we do. But our races are a little bit shorter, so we don't need to stop as much. Whereas yeah. in the men's, they're just kind of like going for six, seven hours. Um, but yeah, but a little, well, bit, a little bit harder for women. I've learned something new there, yeah. I yeah. wasn't sure of the answer to that. So. Yeah, we do. Thanks for sharing that. When you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> yeah, you've heard it here first. <laughs> right, next question in is from Epin O'Scallops, who says, just done my weekly shop on my new carbon bike. Interesting use of your new carbon bike. And after <laughs> an, a bit of a tumble, oh, oh no. no. Yeah, he says the down tube is somehow now filled to the brim with eggs. Uh, uh, Your down frame... tube is filled to the brim with eggs. I thought I was reading it incorrectly. Is the frame ruined or do I have to just let it dry out? Um, 
I know that by the time we've answered this, it's probably already dried out, I hope. Yeah, I'd hope so. I'd have just... I don't really know what to say about this. I'm not they? sure what's going on. How would how one? How is it possible? How did the eggs get in the top tube? Are they in the shell, or are they broken? Well, if if they're if they he are, says letting them dry out, we got to brush past it. Sorry, we can't help you there. <laughs> Next question. Not sure. It's what's going from on. the Blue Rider. He says, "Hello, gents. Presumably they didn't know you were in the tech thing. <sighs> don't worry about me." Um, like to hear some advice. They've got deep carbon wheels with tubeless tyres. They've noticed that water is getting inside of the deep section and leaking, presumably re leaking in around the nipples and the valve. First time I've noticed it was when the water caused the rim tape to fail. Oh no. Done some research, but there's not much information. But they have learned that some brands have a small hole on the side of the rim to allow water to drain out. So their big question is. Can they drill a hole into the side of their carbon wheel because they're worried it might damage them? I would say no. I wouldn't go drilling holes in <laughs> wheels that aren't really meant to have holes in them. Yeah. I, have, I, have, I have drilled holes in my bike before, but not, not in the wheels. I don't think that's very sensible. I've got a completely different option. Oh, Alex is probably going to say, yeah, drill a hole. <laughs> well, I've, I've done that on a set of wheels before. Have you? Tiny, tiny little drill bit. Drill in a very careful manner and be very careful where you drill the hole because... Where did, uh, where did you do the hole? Just, or I did it opposite the valve and yeah. I did it just below the braking surface. Um, obviously so the brake pad doesn't rub on that part. But the reason is it allows the water to drain out. But when manufacturers make the wheels, they've got to drill the hole there. It's just they've done it at the stage of manufacturing. Yeah. Um, but I definitely wouldn't advise drilling a hole into like a brand new wheel because it will oh. invalidate your warranty. So apply a little bit of caution and um, take from that what you will. Yeah. <laughs> right, on to our last question from Carlos. Aeroplane tyres are inflated with nitrogen to make them more resistant. If I inflate my bike tyres with nitrogen, will it be kind of puncture-proof? Um, I guess this is a, similar to the air leaking question. Yeah, it is. Um, so the reason nitrogen is used is because it doesn't seep through the inner tube of the tyre. You know, like your tyres go down overnight or something. But Nitrogen can't stop you getting a puncture. No, it can't. It just so means, still, yeah. yeah. If there's a big hole in the tyre, it's still going to come out, yeah, basically. It's, it's not like a sealant. So yeah, nitrogen isn't going to stop you getting punctures. It just means that the pressure won't drop overnight or over a few days. And that's that's it for the GCN Tech Clinic this week. If we didn't get around to answering your question, don't worry, keep submitting them, and hopefully we'll answer them next week. Mm. See you later.